I'm Rachel. I'm Lindsay's older sister, um, and she asked me to do a video for her presentation on obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, I was clinically diagnosed with OCD when I was in seventh grade, roughly. Um, I first noticed that I was doing strange things when I was about in fourth grade, which was when my grandmother died, which was the first like tragic experience and death also that I had had in my life. Um, so when that had happened to me, it was such a tragedy and such a strange emotion that I started to try and prevent these bad experiences from happening again by developing rituals in a sense to where if I did not change what I was doing, everything would stay perfect. It would not go, it would not be bad. So a lot of them were good luck, bad luck based uh, things that I would do really much towards my sixth grade years because that was a transition to middle school from elementary school so a lot of change going on there and good luck bad luck needed to be like spot on because I did not like middle school um let's see what is important for people to know about OCD um that it is not something that everyone has just because you like to clean does not mean you have OCD just because you like to keep things straight does not mean you have OCD um, it really upsets me when I hear people say, yeah, I have to keep, you know, things straight. You know, it's just, I'm kind of like OCD. You're not OCD. I would literally give myself migraines because I needed to have things, you know, I would, my eyes would twitch so much or they'd be strained from staring at something for so long because in my mind it needed, I, I had to do that. Otherwise something so bad would happen. Um, um counting. Um, just, again, everything from each of my, my morning to when I go to sleep um, would be, had to be the same. Um, I didn't like anything touching my nose or my feet, so if I touched either one of those, I would have some kind of strange tick kind of thing I would do with my hands and my... Um, I don't know, my, my nose is a little twitching with that. I still do that sometimes, so that's a little hard to shake, but that'll go away with time like everything else has. Um, and what else? Um, another ritual I had was when I, my mind is when I would walk by a clock of any sort. Didn't matter what kind of clock it was, if it was timed to be a number that was a multiple of six or it added to be six or anything involving the number six, I had to stare at it until it changed to something dealing with a seven. So I remember anything X 23 o'clock, X 24 o'clock, that was two minutes of me staring at the clock until it turned to 25 because 23 had a 3 in it, and 3 is divisible by 6, and then 24, 2 plus 4 equals 6, and well, that's a 6, so how do I wait till 25, which 2 plus 7, or 2 plus 5 equals 7, so I was golden to continue on with my day, unless I caught the clock a minute past that when it was 26, and I had to stare at it until it's 27. So, just a little bit of disorder to where you have actually convinced yourself that if you do not complete these certain things, that you cannot go on as a person. And which is something very difficult to overcome. Um, so it's not something to joke about. Cleaning, keeping things straight is not OCD. Um, so that's really something that I want people to know about it. Um, it's definitely a dampener on everyday life. And this, so those around you as well because they'll start to pick up on it and you'll get frustrated with them and they'll get frustrated with you and it's just, it's a journey. So um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, um, feel free to, for me at least, um, Lindsay has all my contact information, so feel free to, she can forward that to you, and I can answer anything you have about my weird, bizarre experience of seven years of having obsessive compulsive disorder. I can proudly say that I have overcome.